took the last five Nobel Prize winners and put them together and told them your only mission is to put Dean Blanchard out of business and they couldn't have did a better job than BP. Dean Blanchard's seafood business on Grand Isle is down 85% since the oil spill. And he says BP's promises to make people whole again continue to fall on deaf ears. I can't find no university in the country to tell me how 38% of your money can make you whole. Blanchard says he filed a six-month emergency payment claim of $2.4 million. He sent us a check for $923,000. And, you know, it seems like a lot of money, but my electric bill is about $600,000 a year. So that basically what that does is pay my electric bill and my water bill for the year. Beyond Blanchard's problems staying afloat on land, things out in the Gulf aren't very good either. James Santini has been shrimping in these waters since he was nine years old, and he says right now is the worst he's ever seen. His latest catch, four buckets of small shrimp after a three-hour drag. That pales in comparison to the 12 to 15 buckets he pulled in pre-oil spill. Well, we're just not seeing a potential in the shrimp like we usually do. Could put you in a hole. You know, if you don't make the expense and everything, it could just put you back far. And Santini says if things don't turn around soon, he and others like him will not survive financially. Well, to me, if the tourists don't come in and buy the shrimp, we're going to be out of business. Jefferson Parish Councilman Tom Capella knows Grand Isle cannot handle another lost tourist season. The, island, uh, the island's back, but as you see, the, from the restaurant people to the shrimpers, uh, business is slow. They're hurting. But there are reasons to be optimistic. Here on Grand Isle Beach, the beach is back. No more temporary fencing, no more heavy equipment. And look how close we can walk down to the water. No one's been able to do this for months. An aerial view of the island shows just how far the beaches have come since last summer. Miles of clean sand. Some say it's the best they've ever seen the beach. And Yahoo Travel recently named it one of the top 10 winter beach retreats in America. Joining beaches in Hawaii, Puerto Rico, California, and Florida. Six or 7,000 cleanup workers were on the beach at the spill's peak. A little more than 300 remain. And Mayor David Carmadell hopes they'll be gone by the end of February. So the mayor says it's time for the tourists to come back. Oh, man, this, this is where we make our bread and butter. Last year aside, things get busy on the island Labor Day weekend. We're going to be ready. I can promise you we're going to be ready, you know, and uh, we're going to, we need our tourists back. We need everybody to come back in, in Grand Isle. We want to definitely have our rodeo back, and then we want to try to fit in at, at the island aid. We, we're working on that. we we got to bring it back. And if the people come back, the money comes back, and that bodes well for those who work on the island. Oh, it's very important for us. Commercial fishermen depend on the tourists. The summer is really good. It keeps you going for the winter time. You know, you make your money in the summer, it carries you over through the winter, and this year wasn't like that. It was really bad. And that bad year likely will never be forgotten on Grand Isle, nor will the hostility toward BP. It was too expensive for BP to pick up the oil. They left the oil here. The oil's still all around us over here. People are getting sick down here. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to see a tar balls for the rest of my life coming up on the beach in Grand Isle. And Jefferson Parish is holding a jobs training session to help those affected by the spill. The free session is next Wednesday at 11 a.m. at the Grand Isle Community.